Hi, I am Tanya and this is how I learned to create games. So, I was born and brought up in Bareilly, which is a city in uh, Uttar Pradesh. And like that is where my entire studies went from pre-NC to graduation. So, uh, one of the like earliest memories that I have and a very fondest memory is me and my brother playing uh, Mario and Contra together because like these games were like we both had our own consoles and we were playing the games very competitive <laughs> and yeah that is like the earliest memories and even after that throughout like if i look back there are a lot of games that we played together so that kind of made a connection with games even to this day like we figure out a way to find games that we can play together i mean there's less fighting now but still that's the most recent co-op game i played was a uh, was kingdom 2 crowns so really addicting game where i have spent even like i had new lands before i bought two crowns and i spent like um, it's just a one night on that like the entire night <laughs> just playing the game i do play games like excessively sometimes so it's a me problem So after my class 12 I took a year gap because of some personal problems and in that year my father encouraged me to he was like learn something and I was like okay what do I learn that's when I was like okay I want like I wanted to learn something that can help me in future and in my 12th I did not have uh, uh, computers so I was like let's start learning programming language and like the inclination uh, that whole motive was to make something because i wanted to develop something so that's how i started so since like not a lot of people to guide me at that point and i did not ask either so it's my fault as well i started learning c to like develop something and the teacher i got was really nice like she spent a lot of time getting my basics clear and through that uh, like after that i asked her like now where do i go from here she was like you actually should not have started with c if you wanted to develop stuff c is a very basic language and she was like okay either learn c++ or java so that is the whole point of learning programming was to like start developing something and games was the first thing that came to my mind because again always playing games with actually end up like that putting that in your head that you know i like to play games why not try making one so that's where like the whole interest in game development started then after that i did uh, bca in my own like city uh from there like uh, so my third year was uh, start of covid and i had nothing to do so for that i started a uh, like doing uh, at that time unity made its unity learn premium free for everyone so i was attending lectures there like live lectures from there like started doing that then self learning youtube tutorials followed a lot of do- those things good un- could understand a lot lot of that but the problem was creating my own was an issue like i could not figure out that why there is so i have this really bad habit of knowing like why 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 so i did not know why there is why there's a update or start and i don't know then i was like it's very it's, i don't find like how to start and how to go from there if i start making it on my own uh at that time i did like around i did find out about outskill but it was very new so again it was like like every indian per, like uh, student they're like okay i don't think i'll be able to join now who knows maybe it's a scam so i was like okay let's not join but like after 2 years i think there were good stories and i could have like i talked to some alumnis and they were like yeah it is good you can join i joined out school uh, so before joining out school full time i joined uh, so i was uh, luckily part of launchpad 1 so like that was i think the best one <laughs> so i was part of that launch pad where i like so manas was, was a great mentor manas malhar they were like interacting with us regu- on a regular basis i had i made some really good friends who are to this date like still very good friends so yeah from there it's whole like i joined our uh, launch launch pad 
finished long launch pad after that i was like okay then i can join full stack so i am very lucky in that sense my friends and family are like super super supportive they're like do whatever you want it's your like you decide your career so when i was doing like started when i started learning game dev that was like covid right so everyone was home so these guys literally gave me space to like learn and everything they're like okay she's learning something new and like that's something that she's going to base base her career out of so they were like like letting me have my own like space even when everyone was home they like tried to make sure that you know while i'm learning nobody is like too loud or anything that way they are very supportive like that's the best they could have done at that point they were like okay we can't help you in what you are doing we don't know that but see this is how we can help you so i found about outskirts through linkedin so i am like i was actively using linkedin at that time and saw a lot of posts about game dev and outskirts so i was like uh, i saw some posts about launchpad at that point so i asked a few people and then i was like okay let's at least join launchpad it's free we'll at least get to know that how the program works but it, it's good so linkedin was a answer to that there were like equal number of assignments for it so the thing, like i said i was in first plan right? uh, launchpad plan one right so we had the uh, unity fundamentals module the entire module again the most challenging thing was recording these self assignment videos <laughs> They <laughs> were like, okay, I have to sit in front of a camera and then record these videos. But yeah, DS was really good. DS took me the most time. Very honestly, DS was like we had like proper competitive questions. Honestly, there's not there was not much of a difference other than that like we did Unity fundamentals and Launchpad and then started with C plus plus and uh, like full stack. All of the mentors that I've got and like the entire outskill like study program were great like i can't say like either any of the mentors were not like good enough so that is like one good thing we got really really good mentors like they are the i think the best of the industry i feel like so for c++ we had raman deep then fundamentals we had shubham then in c++ again we had ram oh sorry ds we had ramandeep again uh advanced we had nishal so like i said like all of these mentors were really good mentors were really helpful so the like, one thing i never missed was a mentor session i was like i i'll leave anything if i am outside i'm like i'm going to still try to come back on time so that i can join mentor session because that is one thing i do not want to miss so mentor sessions were really good again so we learned a lot of concepts like if we are saying overcome as in like all the new concepts then yes i did learn a lot of new concepts that i did not know about design patterns was very new to me data structures was i knew data structures but like not as advanced so again i never completed advanced of that data structure but even the fundamentals were like really good so yeah by that yes i did learn a lot of new things like even c++ had i knew c++ from my college but even then i learned like quite a few new things so if you're talking about from like perspective where i did i learn something new yes i did i learned a lot of new things so in data structure module we made a connect for game so in that we actually saw the use of like how data structure is getting used and like in game perspective that was like watching that come to life was really interesting so that made me feel like okay this works so that's good so the placement journey was pretty smooth with our skill like my profile was shared to the companies i was interested in i like while that was happening why also like people from linkedin were approaching and i did end up getting three offers from which i chose like the one i think was best and so the 
whole uh, process of actually starting the full stack program to the placement was it was a really good experience i learned a lot like there was no point where i was like okay maybe i should not have joined this so it was a really good journey i am currently working at terabyte technologies and as a unity developer and we are trying to create something uh, like a platform for kids exclusively i would say at least pick it up and start learning what's the worst that will happen you might think that okay i don't want to do this but it's always good to have a skill like think of it as a hobby at start you don't have to think like oh i want to make a career out of this start with a hobby if you like it why not have it as a career that's a like i think that's a huge thing when you think of you know trying to make one of your own a majority of the game developers i know love to play game because i think you have to be a gamer for to be a game developer at least to push yourself in that sense because it's either that or money that throws people into that and like if someone is in for money it has to like after a while be like okay now i don't want to do this maybe better options but if you like to play games you will honestly keep playing games and think about oh how is this implemented i want to try this so that is where interest comes in that okay i am actually interested in making games that it's not just for money